Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a little bit of a Chanel haul and a pair of shoes from Baldonini. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Chanel. And I will put this aside for a moment. And uh, this is a bag that I saw, um, which a lot of you YouTubers that are into the luxury goods um, will have heard of Mel in Melbourne. And I saw this bag on her and I absolutely loved it. I said, I'm going to have to check it out at the Chanel shop here in Dubai. And lucky for me, they had one left. And um, I'm going to unbox it. And we know that Mel has a lot of bags. You're probably wondering, hmm, I wonder which one she's talking about. But I will show you in just one moment. Of course, this beautiful Chanel bag with the camellia. Wrapping paper. Here's the box. Oh, I see some other goodies in here. What's this? Oh, they gave me a booklet. And another one. <laughs> what else is in here? Oh, of course, my sales receipt. Just to tell you, I did peek into the box to make sure it was what I ordered, so I did take the ribbon off already. But here's the gorgeous Chanel box with the camellia. And let's do the reveal. Okay, the little booklet. Not really sure why this is in here. This little dust bag with something in it. I don't know what that is. It's so peculiar. Anyways, okay, the care booklet. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. Guys, you're just going to love this when you see it. I have my daughter watching here too. She's also wondering what's in my bag. <laughs> Yanka. <laughs> she said, I don't want to be in the video today, Mom. Okay, that's fine. Here's the dust bag. Oh my gosh, they packaged it up so beautifully. Oh, this tissue. Da 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 da. The Chanel Gabrielle bag in the medium size, or the large, because there's two sizes, I believe. Um, but anyways, this is not the very small one. This is the next size up. There might actually be one size bigger. I'm not even sure. There could be, but this was the perfect size for me. How do you like it, Bianca? <laughs> Seal of approval? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And of course, this um, is with the catskin leather. This is the smooth, hard base. And you have the quilted, um, distressed catskin. And you have the antique gold hardware here. But you have the mixed metals in the chain. You have the ruthenium, you have the silver hardware, and the gold hardware all mixed into this beautiful double chain event here. Now let me get rid of the box so that I can show you this handbag a little bit better. It is absolutely stunning, stunning. Okay, and of course with this handbag, one of the features is that you can wear it in many different ways. So before I get into the ways that you can wear it, which uh, Mel and Melbourne showed so beautifully in her video, and that was one of the reasons why I was absolutely hooked on the bag. All this tissue, 
comes with this absolutely beautiful red lining in fabric. Um, so almost like a satiny, silky type of finish. There's a definite sheen to it. You have a pocket here. You have the Chanel little lipstick pocket here and two side pockets here. And a beautiful deep um, interior. So it holds lots of stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. So before I get into the different ways that you can wear this bag, I'm going to show you what else I have. Oops, see what in there. In this little bag, okay? So let's do the unboxing for this little purchase here. thing about this little leather good before I un un reveal it or unveil it I just want to say that I have been looking for this and I haven't been able to see it in any of the shops until just a couple of nights ago I walked into the Chanel boutique actually looking for something else and then corner of my eye I saw some small leather goods and there was one left right there and here it is, oh my god, it is so cute, in its dust bag. Da 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 da! <laughs> the Gabrielle little zip card holder. So beautiful. Look at this cute little tassel with the CCs on it in the antique gold hardware. The same distressed cap leather to match the bag. So cute. Oh my goodness. I was like just amazed. And of course it's red lining inside just like the same lining as in the bag except stiffer. And the authenticity card is here. So it is just so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. <laughs> Anyways, those two beautiful purchases and before I demonstrate the bag, I'm going to share with you a lovely little um, purchase that I picked up at Baldonini Shoes. Baldonini is an Italian brand of um, shoes, and my first experience with Baldonini Shoes, which has been around for decades, um, was when I was in my early 20s and visiting Italy, visiting my relatives in Italy, and my background is Italian. And I walked into a Baldonini shoe store and fell in love with their beautiful leather shoes and the craftsmanship and the quality. And so I purchased a pair. And those shoes, I must say, lasted me 30 years. So um, I walked into the Baldonini shop in Dubai Mall the other day and I thought, oh my goodness, this pair of shoes would look so cute with my new Gabrielle handbag. So I just have to have it. Comes with the dust bag. And here we go. <laughs> These adorable pointy slides. Look at this. I'll show you like this. In beautiful um, calfskin leather with a gorgeous little knot detail. And so supple and soft here. Fully leather and oops, the other way around. And absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Great combination. Okay, so now I'm going to model the shoes and model the handbag for you. So you will see what they look like together. I call them my little Aladdin slippers. <laughs> Anyways, here's the handbag. Now, of course, with the Gabrielle bag, you can wear the bag 
you know, up over your shoulder like this. As you can see, I'm five foot six and a half. So this is the right size for my body type because I'm a full figured woman. And um, the small one just seemed a little too small. Even though they didn't have the gold in the small, I did sample um, the small size in another color, which I wasn't very crazy about. But anyways, um, of course, you can always drop one of the straps down and you can have a super long, very chic <laughs> shoulder bag like this, if you care to go this style. Might be a little too extreme for me, but of course crossbody. Very nice, very nice. Now, it, you know, it's a bit long. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to shorten it up, of course you can do this little trick where you um, insert, no, this way, hang on. Fold it over and over. And yeah, one more. To shorten it up, you've got a little chain decoration. And you can go crossbody like this. How does that look? Good? It is so beautiful. I'm so happy with it. Let's see. Of course, there's another way to wear it, which is the, the V. So you would um, put the strap, I would say, over this way. Across the neck here is probably the best way to wear it. And then this part over your shoulder called the V. How does this look? Cute? <laughs> yes, us older women can enjoy these lovely, modern, stylish handbags as well. So, you go girl. You just go out there, you get what you want, and you rock it. <laughs> and that's what Minnie says. And you know who you are, Minnie. <laughs> Mix for all. She's so cute too. And yeah, so I think there's a few more ways to wear it, but you can play around with it. You can find out what suits you best and uh, enjoy. So what do you think, ladies? Okay, hope you enjoyed my video today. I have a few more unboxings coming up. I did go a little bit crazy lately, but sometimes we just have to treat ourselves lots of love <laughs> and bring in whatever joy is going to make you happy and if buying a new bag is that little thing that just makes you so ecstatic then treat yourself to something lovely and enjoy it okay bye for now